Greetings, up chappers. I'm the captain. Yeah, we're in a new place. A new place. Yeah, look at this new environment. I know it's bigger. It's it's cooler. Yeah, you couldn't finish uh, it. They couldn't paint the wall. No, right. we couldn't paint the wall. And guess what? As well, in our new video studio, uh, we actually have two rooms, potentially even four, going into next year. So every time you see us, or from month to month. We may have a different place. It's so pro. It's and, unbelievable. And also that lovely, warm, friendly room reverb on our voices will make it sound and feel mentally as if we're in yeah. the room with you. If that, gets, if that gets really thing. annoying, we may go over to wearing lapel mics. But anyway, look. Lapel mics? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Why are we here? Why are we here? Because to kick off. Or celebrate. Or it shrunk everything it's known that's good and put it into something smaller than it could be humanly possible to build. I'm calling aliens on this one. So, you guys remember last, oh, I don't know, two or three years ago, Rob and I shot a video of the original Micro Terra, which was a scaled down, uh, white kind of version of the Tiny Terra. And then of course, as you guys also know, or the Tiny Terra has a naughty brother uh, called the Dark Terra, which is the sort of higher gain, a uh, couple of extra features sort of version. So of course, the right thing for them to do uh, was to create uh, a micro dark. Yes. And that's it. Rob is ably sort of uh, positioning it. Uh, and the micro dark uh, comes uh, with a matching black cabinet, uh, which you're hearing, or you will be hearing now. <laughs> then we're going to plug it into a normal cabinet. Um, and it's just an awesome sounding little box really, isn't it? Yes. Good things about it are it's loud. It's very loud. It's 20 watts. Yes. Now that's... 20 watts, and also the exact width of this is the, exa it's the same exact width that fits into the side compartment of my um, big effects board carrying case. Well, that's handy. So it's a useful so, backup. So 20 watts, but it's 20 watts, so it's it's half valve, half a sort of solid state. It's got so 12AX7, doesn't it? 12AX7 for the preamp. Four gain stages in this, that's twice as many as the uh, Micro Terra. Solid state 20 watt output section. Um, headphone socket now with cabinet simulation off of it. Yeah, so, bro. Which the Micro Terra doesn't have. So uh, not only can you use this with your headphones, but if you want to, I've said a lot of the type, the Micro Terras to guitar players that say, look, I just want to take it as a backup in case my main amp blows up, and then I can either run my cab off of this or I can yeah. go straight into the PA. But you can plug this into the wall to get power. Power. And you don't need to plug it into a cab, you could just plug headphones in. You can you? indeed. So it could just be like an awesome headphone amp. And the other thing that it has, which the Micro Terra didn't have, uh, is a buffered effects loop. Say the word buffered. Buffered. Say it with me, everybody. Buffered. Um, it's beautifully synchronized. It's beautiful. <laughs> um, so this is it. It weighs literally next to nothing. The other thing that's kind of cool as well, this is an optional extra. How dainty is this? Oh, I'll tell you what it comes with. A <laughs> clip. <laughs> it also comes with a with a tall blindfold, so that when you're in a van, you want to give it a kit. Fantastic. Just put it behind your glasses. That's like that. fantastic. Yeah. And then you, you can have a little bit of sleep in the van. No one's going to prank you in the van. You're completely safe when you sleep in a van with a band. And uh, see, Orange have thought of everything. Yeah. And there's a little bit for your drugs at the front. So, so these are 19.99, and when you visit the Andersons website what? and look at one of these, uh, you will also see uh, as a sort of suggested uh, optional extra one of these. So wait, um, the amp is 1999. No, no, no. The bag is 1999. Oh, the bag is 1999. Yeah. The amp is 129. Ah, there you go. The cabinet is uh, 59. It has an 8 inch speaker in it, I think. Uh, and the bag is 1999. Well, you know, you don't need any more than 8 inches, Lee. Well, it comes with a speaker lead. Speaking of wallpaper pasters, um, <laughs> let's move on. So we, uh, we are using the. Um, Excellent TC Hall of Fame reverb pedal. Yeah, uh, mate. Which actually we'll show you. No, I tell you what, let's show them without. So if okay. you didn't have a reverb pedal, this is what it sounds like. Okay, I'll, I'll give you some clean or some dirty. Would you? Well, want? why don't you? I'll, I'll do a bit of both. I'll do a bit of both. Yeah, I'll I'll do
personal favourite orange setting is always a bit wow. of this game because it all goes a bit de la fizz with all the Absolutely, game. but it's good to show people what you can get. Oh. Here's all the game. Okay. You'll notice with all the game. Of my infinite sustain. Sustain for days. Yeah. Um, so whilst Wait, Rob's playing, off a bit. whilst Rob's playing, I will fiddle with the knobs, and uh, you can get an idea. Of well, in that case, do. since I'm excited, and I've got a present for Lee in a minute. I'm going to play a new riff that we've written with Dorje, which is quite exciting. Oh, but I want to do a bit again. You're doing a click. Oh, I see. I was going to do everything. Oh, all right. Then. Well, just run through the everything, and then you can do the new riff for me. And do you know what? Let's turn the reverb on now. Oh, reverb, got to tell you. Now, we're using a, a TC Hall of Fame reverb, which is £100, and some of you might go, well, you can't spend that, you know, that's almost the same price as the head. I tell you what, you can try. Um, Getting a job. We've run out, harsh. Um, <laughs> we've run out of them right now, but they'll be back in stock probably by the time this video comes up. Check out this excellent new Tone City pedal called the Tiny Spring, because that's a really cool sounding what reverb a great pedal. name for a reverb pedal. Yeah, and it's only £49, so I'll put a link underneath. We're not using that right now, but it sounds awesome. Anyway, you know what? Just as a side note, if I ever bring out a reverb pedal, I want to call it Boing. It's been done. The what? Uh, Archer Boing, I think, is a reverb pedal. Sorry. Go. <laughs> into our interface. So, uh, with a, a quick request from Rabir now, what you're going to hear on this next piece of playing is actually just the cabinet simulated output, so not the microphones anymore. We can't hear that in the room, uh, so I hope it sounds good. If it doesn't, you know, comment below and blame Orange, but I'm sure it'll sound great. Before we do this little quick test of the, uh, the, the headphone socket, I just want to say that I haven't got horrendous uh, dress uh, taste. I've actually I've hurt my foot quite severely, so I'm having to. It's swollen, so I've got to wear this uh, this sandal, and it's it's sand. I'm sorry. Please feel free to troll the crap out no, of me. No, don't troll. Before. Send send uh, you know send, send, me send healing powers. Touch the yes. screen now. Touch, Touch the screen. screen. Now. Heal my foot. Go heal the foot because it works. If loving the foot is wrong, I don't, I don't want to be right. right. Let's hear the headphones. Let's hear the headphones. On.
that sounded amazing, then of course that means you can listen to this amp through headphones, you could record with it out of the headphone out, or you could even run it straight into your PA uh, as a backup amp for live. And if it sounded <laughs> then of course, you know, don't use it for any of those things, just leave it running through the Now they say, when you're educating children, you should reward the good and ignore the bad. This new room has been such a wonderful change in my life, I wanted to thank you by getting him a little toy. So thank you so much for, for changing. Oh, the a Playmobil figure! But, yeah, and, a, bro. and the joy is, it's for five years old and upwards. I'm not sure if I'm qualified for that. Oh, but maybe you could build it and then give it to Grace. Oh my goodness me! I'm, we, what we need basically is a speeded up build, <laughs> um, so that people. Put it on my hand and I'll show the camp. B cam. I put it. Show, show B cam. Yeah, show B cam. See if they can guess what it is before you've made it. Look at that! We've made our first mess in the video room as well by throwing stuff on the floor. Can you guess what Captain Lee got? So there we are. So I'm going to sit and make this whilst... Well, they'll find um, out next video. I'm going to sit and make this whilst, Rob. What if there's nothing left to do? Actually, I wanted to play the Stratocaster through it. Play so a bit of Strat, build I'll, it, and I'll then make, next video they can find out what it was. I'll make this later. Yes. Okay, let me try the Strat, and then we'll try the other cabinet, the big cabinet. Well, you better have got the standby, Lee. There isn't a standby. I know, it was a joke. I'm sorry. Yeah! Oh, if you're wondering as well, this is the uh, most excellent Schecter Black Ops guitar, um, exclusively available from Anderton's in the UK. Uh, and this is my trusty Squire Classic Vibe with modified pickups. Uh, both of these guitars have their own videos on Rob's channel, so just go search for them if you want to know more. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to. There's a little tip for you. For years, honestly years, one of the, the reason I thought I couldn't play as fast as I thought I might be able to was all because my left hand technique wasn't fast enough. And then I realised earlier this year, it's nothing to do with my left hand, well it's something to do with my left hand, but the reason that was holding me back was my picking just wasn't accurate enough. So I've spent a long time trying to go, so. But also he started to slant the pick. Yeah. And, and all of a sudden, I'm, I'm playing a little bit faster, so thanks, right hand. Uh, <laughs> you can do two I things. I like to thank awesome. my right hand almost every day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, so that's the uh, that's the Dark Terror with a Stratomacaster in it. Uh, don't Wait, go away. Did we want to put it straight into this We cap? absolutely did, so Rabia. So we've popped it into the uh, orange, I don't know, was this a closed back? I think it's a closed back 212. Oh no, it's an open back 212, I apologize. Um, and the only adjustment we've really had to make to the tone control on here is it's very, very bassy. Uh, so we've turned the tone sort of about three quarters of the way up to, to give it, but I tell you what, man, this sounds fat. Uh, yeah, I mean, it sounds really good. Um, no no jokes, we're on three, it's really do loud. It. Just do uh, it. Yeah, it's <laughs>
hipster type dude. What's up, bleh? What's up, bleh? What's going on? Oh, I want to put all the volume of the game in and see what that's. That sounds really good. Just turning the volume on. Just putting the volume on sounds really good. violin-like, isn't it? Super. It sounds really kind of smooth and creamy and saturated. Yet again, yet again, driving home the fact that actually a great cab is a humongously important well, part of, of good time. It's the synergy between the amplifier mm. and the cab mm. that, that is particularly... Can, can you back the clean set, the volume off, and so we can just get like some nice cleany... I just want to see if it's articulate with a little... <laughs> Actually, just in case you guys are wondering, because I know we'll get asked the question, could you gig with a micro terra uh, or a, uh, a micro dark? This is the kind of thing where, again, with the right cabinet, so perhaps not with this kind of cabinet, because it's just not going to move enough air. If I'm going to turn this off because it's going to be hissing away in the background. So perhaps not, you, you probably couldn't gig with this cabinet very much with this cabinet. It's a, probably it's couldn't. A, it's a great, fun uh, sort of home use thing. With a bigger cabinet, it's moving enough air that I absolutely believe that you could do a small gig. It'll certainly keep up with the drama. You would need to mic up and get but some fold back. You think but so? Yeah, because it's 20 watts and it's, but, if but it's loud. Jam, if it was a garage band type thing, though, you, you'd definitely be happy with, you know, you'd get enough volume, I think, with that. Um, Borderline? I don't know if you'd get over a drummer and a bassist. And so loud here. enough to rehearse yeah. to hear yourself. It's going to be borderline. So I think it's, if you've got yeah. a small PA that you can just chuck a microphone in front and get a little bit extra. No, but you can absolutely you gig with it because yeah. nobody gigs. Well, they do. They're having a bad time, but yeah. nobody gigs just playing through an amp to an audience. You might up go through a PA, oh, but you'd absolutely, yeah. absolutely get a gig with it. I suspect that loads of people gig without micing their guitars really? up. Yeah, absolutely. that's a sound state of affairs. Well, man. it's because some people can't afford the PA to absolutely, be able to do that yeah, that's and true. All that kind of stuff. But uh, uh, anyway, can I anyway. Full volume anyway? I'm not sure. Can we go? I don't think we can go full volume, can we, Rabir? Rabir's died. Rabir has died. Yeah. Can I put it full volume? Uh, <laughs> that was. Uh... <laughs> well, why not? All right. Why not? Here we go. Why not, indeed. <laughs> Said you Good. probably couldn't get over a drummer. Yes, that is loud. And also, I think you could gig with that. If you had 16 of them and you gaffed tape <laughs> them together into a sphere of doom. So there we go. I would like to try it just into this cabinet and then that's the end of the video. Uh, but thank you very much for joining us on this Thank you for the, the foot healing thoughts of love. <laughs> Yeah. 
you can get it to sound kind of like the way you would normally have your amp set up. I was having this conversation with a guitar player yesterday, in fact, about the fact that fundamentally, whatever gear you buy, the most influencing factor on the amount of coffee it, on how you sound is still you. All oh, right. So that's why you sound like you and I sound like me, despite yeah. the fact that we often play all the same gear. Yeah, probably. So, anywho. <laughs> So, what do you want to know about? You want to know, this is called an orange micro dark. I will put a link uh, to uh, more information in the description more below. Uh, this is the matching cab, which you will also find on the page with this amp on it. And in terms of suggested reverb pedals, I will put those on this page as well. This is a, a Black Ops from Shektar. Black Ops. Uh, this is a Squire Classic Vibe. Um, he's been Rob Chapman. That's the hipster. Don't leave me hanging. You're Captain Lee. That's right. See you later, guys. It's a wrap!